Hello everyone and welcome back. So I'm going to show you guys something that I uh, kind of run into somewhat of a problem um, and found a way to fix the problem. This is kind of an an editing thing within a song. So I'm going to play you guys some of what I'm talking about and have a listen to this vocal section right here and see what if you can pick out what I'm uh, what I'm uh, <laughs> talking about and what I'm gonna show you how to fix when I look back on those valley drives. I'll play it again in case you didn't catch it when I look back on so that k sound at the end of the word back when he says it um there's a really bad k like hard clicky k sound in there and you know completely unintentional but that was the take that we we kept in the recording and then only now do we kind of realize that it's it's a sucky sound <laughs> to have in there, just kind of within the the recording, right? So, kind of a problem for uh, the final mix. So, I'll show you how I was able to remove it, and I'll show you what it sounds like. First, I'll solo it, just so you can hear. When I look back on... So, yeah, very obvious, that hard clicky noise. And this is the fixed version. When I look back on those so it's not a perfect sounding uh, k, like what was, what should be there, I guess. But it's probably like ninety percent perfect, you know. So it's very, very decent, and we were able to fix this. And I'll show you how I did it. So let's go in here. So zoom in on this piece, and this is the that hard transient little k sound that we were listening to. <clears throat> so first off, I'll show you something that kind of seems intuitive and s theoretically kind of sounds like it would work, right? Like I'm going to analyze this section right here. And this is all the frequencies that lie within this area here. So you can see right here there's a hard big peak here in 20, 2132 hertz. There's a lot of that frequency within this small little section. So theoretically, with the hard k transient, you would think that that means that it is this noise, right? Like this k is mostly that 2k noise. And then if we do some sort of an EQ on it, then it should alleviate it at least substantially. And then once you remove all that stuff, it might just sound like a normal k sound. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use a REQ. And I've already kind of done something, right? So 2132-ish. Let's put that in, 2132. So dropping out almost all of that. What is this minus? This might be minus 24 or something. Wait, no, right here. Minus 18. So we're taking away 18 decibels at that certain frequency peak. And we'll do somewhat of a shape like this so we can maybe preserve some of that higher higher end and maybe the body of the vocals maybe we'll even dip down like this because we don't need any of this and we'll go process so now this is smaller you can still see a big transient here um, but theoretically it seems like it might work so let's play it when I look back on, when I look back on. 
So it's eh, it's okay. It kind of got rid of some of it, but it's still it's still there. And if you listen for it within the mix, you'll definitely hear it. So undo that, and I'll show you the way that I cured it was using the draw pencil tool in this edit window. Um, so I've seen somebody do this before, and <laughs> it kind of surprised me that that first of all you could just draw a waveform in an editor like this and I'm pretty sure most most DAWs do it. I know Pro Tools and Cubase do it and I think Logic and Ableton Live and a few other ones must they must be able to do it too because that's I think it's a standard feature um, so yeah what we're gonna do is just kinda kind of mimic the general flow of this thing here by drawing drawing frequencies in like this and we're going to avoid doing anything peaky looking oops let's redraw some of that so something like that and it looks kind of funny, <laughs> like it's just kind of squiggly, squiggly hand-drawn. doesn't really look like it's going to do much. Zoom out and it kind of looks like a normal, normal waveform or whatever. But in any case, who cares what it looks like, right? So let's play the result. When I look back, Oops. Let's play the result. When I look back on, when I look back on. So that got rid of that crazy clicky transient noise uh, almost almost completely. And it sounds quite natural, that k sounds fairly natural. And I think it's because some of that k is lying within the stuff that we didn't edit. So like here, you could see those like sharp, sharp, tiny little zigzaggy things and I think that's part of the the higher frequency k sound I don't know for sure but that's just what I'm guesstimating so let's play one more time with with the mix let's get out of this window and mute mute this one when I look back on So much better. There's no harsh, crazy, high-pitched clicky noise that will draw your attention very easily to the noise. Uh, let's hear what I edited before, see if it's any different. Hmm, excuse me. So I think I like this version that I did the second time here better it's slightly less uh, clippy I think this hard peak there that I drew is kind of kind of making a digital clipping or digital clicking noise when I look back on, when I look back on. or something I don't know anyways they're both pretty decent so that's a a quick little way to fix it. It's probably maybe easier and probably a better end result if you're using an actual plugin that repairs this kind of stuff. Uh, I've seen some where it has like a full spectral analyzer with like all the colors and you can just kind of draw in with a pencil tool and circle some frequencies and eliminate those frequencies. Those plugins seem to work really well, but this method too works um, quite awesomely. So, yeah, I hope you guys learned from that, and hopefully, you, uh, hopefully you don't have to don't have to repair shit like this. But <laughs> if you do come across it, keep that in mind. You can draw stuff out, uh, try different techniques, whatever. Use plugins, and hopefully, hopefully this helps. So. Check you guys later. See you in the next video.